Hello everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be doing a meal prep, which I know many of us do in order to stay on our keto program. And today there was a sale on chicken breasts and it was such a huge pack. It was almost five pounds. It was five chicken breasts and almost five pounds of meat. So I thought I would just go ahead and load it in the crock pot and then make a couple of different things with it um, once it's cooked. So I'm kind of calling this my double duty meal prep. So like I said, um, the five pounds of chicken have already gone in. I cut off what I call the yucky parts, um, the skin and stuff gristle, and I'll boil that later with some broth for the dogs and they will love that tonight with their dog food. I have um, so far in the crock pot, I put a little bit of avocado oil in there and sprinkled the chicken breast with garlic salt, Mrs. Dash, and I chopped up half an onion. I would love to put the whole onion in there. I love onion, and uh, Albert teases me that onion is my favorite vegetable, and he's probably right, but it is also higher carb, so I limit myself there. So I'm gonna cook this on high for about four, five, six hours. We'll just see how long it takes for all that to get tender. and. But once it's ready to shred and it's shreddable, then I will add this block of cream cheese. Uh, what's left, about half a container of sour cream. I would put more if I had it, but that's all I have left. And then I'll grate this extra sharp cheddar cheese. And then once all that's mixed together, I will divide the, the meat into two different bowls. One of them I'm gonna turn into a creamy Mexican chicken. And I got this uh, recipe from a recent posting that Keto Ginger did on her website. But basically, I will sprinkle it with this taco seasoning mix. Um, I get this from uh, Maria Emmerich's site, uh, Keto Adapted, if you can see that, ketoadapted.com. She makes her own spice mixes, and we know that there's just nothing but clean ingredients in there. So rather than using a commercially packaged uh, taco seasoning. I love to use her seasonings. So um, one is going to be a Mex creamy Mexican cheesy chicken and the other is going to be a buffalo chicken. So in the Mexican one I will add um, enough of this taco seasoning till it looks and tastes right and the other half of this uh, jar of salsa. So whatever is your favorite salsa. And then to the buffalo I will add her ranch seasoning mix and I will add the Frank's hot sauce. And then again, it's already gonna have the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, and the sour cream in it. So that's it. I, I believe after I portion that out, um, I'm gonna, out of five pounds of meat, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot of meals to portion out to take for lunch. I like to eat a lunch that really doesn't have much vegetables in it. It's mostly protein, um, proteins and fat, and save my vegetables for dinner. So, um, yeah, I hope this maybe gives you some ideas of a quick and easy double duty meal prep that you can do for yourself. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching and good day and God bless.